Hey Paolo, okay, so we're in the home stretch. It's your last set of essays. Let's see what you did here. Here we've got the map, so let's see what you did with this. The map above describes changes in an island. Overall, the island is short and thin with about with around 300 meters long west to east and 100 meters north to south. It is surrounded by ocean and has a beach on the east side. Excuse me. It was completely transformed with the addition of several houses, a pier, and an artificial lake. All right. So you started off this paragraph with the word overall, which makes us think that this is going to be your overview. But what you've actually written is not an overview. It's, um, it's, it's details. Okay. So from the looks of it, you don't have an overview. Now, I know a lot of times people are really confused about what kind of an overview to write for a map like this. So um, it, it's really a lot simpler than you think. The overview should be something like um, uh, prior to construction, um, the island was uninhabitable, but after uh, housing and facilities were built, um, the island became a, um, a place for, you know, uh, travel and recreation. Okay. So that, that would be okay. All right. So that would be the kind of overview. So you're telling us basically the main trends, or you could have said something like, um, you know, prior to, uh, construction, uh, there were only some scattered trees throughout the island. However, um, post construction considerable infrastructure was developed. That would be okay as well. So that's the kind of thing you want to write here. That's what belongs in an overview, really telling us just the main things, that before there was nothing and then after things were built. Okay, but you don't want to go too into detail about the things that were built because that's what you're going to talk about in your description. Okay, so... Um, this also had some problems with it, this thing about the width around 300 meters. So let's try it again. Overall, the island is short and thin, uh, comma, no width, around 300 meters long, west to east, and 100 meters north to the south, full stop. It is surrounded by ocean, has a beach on the east side. It was completely transformed, the addition of several houses, a pier, and an artificial lake, and those things in the middle of the island as well. Um... You could have said that too. You could have said that the island was uh, completely transformed um, by the addition of, you know, various buildings and uh, infrastructural changes, uh, whereas before it had nothing. So that could have been an overview as well. All right. So the most noticeable additions are houses. Six houses have been built on the east side near the beach, without that too, and another... Eight houses have been constructed on the west side, close to the lake, okay? Um, on the center of the island, in the center of the island, between the two different complexes of houses on the west and the east, you didn't even have to say that, but you already told us there are two housing complexes. So you could have just said, on this, in the center of the island, between the two housing complexes, uh, not it has been, that's grammatically wrong. Um... A mall, a restaurant, and a five-star hotel have been constructed. The five-star hotel is located on the south, and it is close to the pier. The pier allows yachts, okay, uh, with a T, to access the hotel area. The island remains, uh, S, relatively untouched due to the fact that only five trees were cut down without the TED. Um, okay, you're missing some stuff here, uh, Paolo. So, um, you talked about the lake up here. I already told you that I didn't think it belonged in your overview. Um, <coughs> you mentioned the trees and that's good, but you know what you didn't mention at all? You didn't mention the footpaths or the vehicle tracks, and they're pretty important. I mean, look, they've got a whole scale thing for them here. So you should have mentioned them. You left them out. Um... Let's see. There are a ton of ways to do this. Um, this was okay. I already said, I mean, I didn't love it. it. You really should have said the map above describes uh, an island before and after construction. That's what it should have said. Um, 
there are a lot of ways to do this. You decide to focus on the houses first and then kind of deal with the rest of this. It's kind of dangerous because then you run this risk of potentially missing something. So one of the ways that I like to do this is actually taking this from west to east. That's just one of the ways that I have done this uh, in the past. And I think it's a pretty decent way of doing it. So you start with, you know, the beach, obviously, which was there. And then, you know, you can talk about the trees being cut down. Actually, that's another thing I want to mention. I think it's also important to talk about what the island looked like before. Um, so you could say that the island, there was nothing, basically. There was a beach on the west side, and there were some trees scattered uh, throughout the north, uh, the north, the rather the northwest, the northeast, the north central, and the, I don't know, the south central part of the island. Okay, you could just say that, but there was nothing else. There was no human intervention whatsoever. And then you could talk about the um, island after construction. Like I said, starting from west east, you could say that the beach, um, you know, was the same, obviously, but those trees were cut down in order to make room for um, homes and then the restaurant, the mall, the hotel, etc., 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 going all the way that way. Okay, that's how I would do it. it I'm not trying to say that this is the only way. Um, as I've said before, there are um, multiple ways to do a task one. That's just how I would approach it. All right, let's take a look at your task two. Okay, so uh, now we've got the green energy. We've got these two ideas, and you have to um, discuss both sides and give your opinion. So let's see what you did. Experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated the issue uh, of alternative sources of energy. Uh, what happened here? There's an IE, but there should just be a Y, okay? Alternative source of energy. While some believe the green sources put energy security at stake and state that fossil fuels are trustworthy, I strongly disagree with this idea. This essay will discuss both sides using examples from Harvard University and France government mm, and the French government to demonstrate points and prove arguments. All right, that's fine. That's good. On the one hand, it seems to be true that green sources of energy, such as solar power, are dependent on, not of, are dependent on wind, sunlight, and rain. Consequently, comma, at first sight, this system apparently is not 100% reliable, provided the natural phenomena can be unpredictable. To illustrate, a recent study by Harvard University has shown that solar power is still incapable, not on, careful, incapable of sustaining all the demand for energy in most, uh, in most, developed countries due to the rigorous winter and limited sunny days. However, it must not be forgotten that a mix of solar power and wind can be efficient to supply the demand for energy due to the fact that most of the time, whether it's sunny or windy. Okay, uh, you could see that you had some problems with prepositions here. Uh, you mixed up a lot of froms and ofs and fors and so forth. So be careful with some of that, all right? Let's take a look at your next paragraph. On the other hand, there is ample evidence that traditional sources of energy, such as fossil fuels, are limited. This is largely because the world resources of fossil fuels are predicted to reach their minimum level in no more than 30 years. Therefore, it is an enormous mistake to state that green energy is a threat to security due to the fact that they are, I don't know what that word is supposed to be, illimited, you wrote, but I don't know what you're talking about here. So what is limited? I mean, you try, are you trying to say unlimited? Or are you trying to say limited? And what are you referring to? Are you referring to fossil fuels? Or are you referring to green energy? So I'm really confused after this sentence. Uh, for example, a recent study with a Y by the French government has said that green energy is not a threat to energy security if there is a combination um, of at least two different sources of energy, such as solar power plus wind. All right, I'm really confused by this paragraph, Paolo. I'm probably gonna have to read this whole thing again, but check it out. You have two viewpoints here. One is that green energy reduces cost and is better for the environment, okay? And then the other idea is that it's a threat to energy security. So I'm very confused. Um, it sounded to me like this was the paragraph that talked about um, energy security and how green energy is a threat to that 
But then you said, oh, no, 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 it's okay because, you know, if you mix two types of, of green energy together, then you're fine. Okay, so fine, fair enough. But then on this paragraph, I was again confused because all of a sudden you're talking about fossil fuels and then, you know, fossil fuels, fossil fuels, and then you're talking about energy security again. So I was absolutely confused. I don't know why you're talking about that here. You're supposed to be talking about something else. You're supposed to be talking about them reducing costs and being better for the environment. You never talked about that. So it's as if you skipped half of the essay. You skipped half of the prompt. You never talked about the benefits of um, of green energy for the environment and for, for reducing cost. Okay, so that's a huge problem. It looks like you kind of like only focused on green energy. And then, like I said, this paragraph really confused me. So, I mean, I've got some concerns here with the way you developed it. Usually people develop it pretty much like the way I said it, like one paragraph to talk about, you know, the, um, the problems with energy security that green energy can create. And then the next paragraph, yeah, well, despite these problems, you know, it is so much better for the environment and it even reduced, reduced, reduces costs long term. All right. That's what that second paragraph probably should have been about. But I don't know what happened here where, you know, where you kind of got off topic. Um, but definitely there is a, a problem in that second body paragraph. Let's take a look at your conclusion. To conclude, while it may be true that green energy has some drawbacks related to its dependence on weather, I firmly believe that the advantages far outweigh any disadvantages because the alternative source of energy, here it is again, I don't know what this word is, I think you mean unlimited, but illimited is not a word, so it really creates some confusion here. I don't know if you're trying to say limited, I don't know if you're trying to say unlimited, I just don't know. So that's a real problem. Um, you started off really strongly. I thought this was going to be great, but you know, then it really kind of went downhill from the second body paragraph. Uh, I don't want you to feel disheartened though. I don't want you to feel, you know, like we're, we're ending off on a, a low note or, or something like that. However, I do want you to think about um, possibly signing up for some more essay corrections, just essay corrections, you know, just another package so you can continue practicing with us, continue getting feedback and, you know, continuing to improve and practicing all the things that you've been learning. See if that's something you can do. Um, I'd like to see more work from you. I'd like to see you applying the stuff that we're talking about. So uh, hopefully we'll see more of your essays. Let us know uh, what you decide to do and I look forward to hearing from you. Good luck.